Good afternoon. So this is a video I kind of highly debated on filming just because it is my shop. I feel like if it wasn't my shop, it'd be a no brainer for me to film it. That is why I'm filming it. And also because I feel like a lot of people are going to have a lot of questions about this and I can direct them to this video to answer them. So my shop, I have people have been asking me to make kind of a subscription box of sorts, but in my mind, it's more of just like a mystery box. So I made one and um, I'm really excited about it. This was the first month. I only uh, released 50 of them to be sold and I'm already planning on a lot of different things for next month, which I'm really excited about. I will be doing 100 to 150 for next month and I will be announcing a time and a date that those will be available on my Facebook group, which I will link down below. So this is my like mystery box. So this is just kind of like something that I picked up on the fly. A plain old white box. The ones that I sent out look way prettier. This is just my box. I was practicing stamping on the back. All of them do have a stamp that says Happy May Heart A on them, which I guess that's a little preview, but I, I was just practicing to see how the um, stamp took to the cardboard box. But next month I have way bigger plans for the, for the box, the way that it looks on the outside. But this month I'm trying to go for more, more what's in on the inside look. So when you open it, there is some gold tissue paper. And I'll just tell you guys a couple of things while I'm opening this. So the price point of these is $20, which may seem like a lot if you don't know what, how much planner supplies is. But once you see what's inside and kind of think about, you know, how much they are in my shop or anywhere else, then it's a pretty good deal. I think so at least. So what you get, it's $20 a month plus shipping for this specific box. It is sold in my uh, printable shop and I do put tracking on all of the orders for these boxes. So whether it is in the United States or out of country, I'm putting tracking on them just so that they are tracked. So the first thing is for the first month's box, I wanted to kind of put something like just cute and something different in there. So I did put a little candy pack, which I'm gonna be eating this later. And I don't know, I just saw these cute little bags and I was like, what could I put in these bags just as like a, hey, you're one of the first 50 people to ever get a Scribbles monthly box. So I just put some candy in here, some non-meltable candy. There's like a Jolly Rancher in here and a Twizzlers in here. But I just thought it was a cute little extra to add. I don't know if I'll be doing that every month. I'm gonna try and find like smaller planner goodies, not made by me, but just different things in like, um, like maybe some paper clips or something to put in there. I did put a little card in here and uh, what I'm trying to do every month is hook up with one other planner shop and have them like, you know, throw an item in here just to kind of get the word out, to show people, you know, their stuff and, you know, kind of support each other. So Kate from Planner Kate is one of my all time best sticker girls that I got and she so graciously offered to put one of her new sticker sheets in here, which everyone who gets the box will get this before it's released, which I think is pretty cool. So this is what it looks, this is just the card. I'll probably beef up this card a little, do something a little bit different, but I just wanted to get these out and we were super busy, so I just did my best and I thought these turned out pretty cute. So this is what, plan I'll, sh I'll save what this is there. So this is what Planner Kate put in here. She just put one sticker sheet in here for you guys to try out. And I thought it was super cool that she did a sampler specifically for this little box of mine. And I'm really excited about it because I've been bugging her for a sampler for months now. And there's finally one. So this is super cute, it has a bunch of her stickers on it. This will be released in her shop shortly. So if you didn't get a hold of this box, which nothing in the box itself will ever be released, which is gonna be like the kicker for this box. And the thing that, you know, I think you're, it's, you're gonna either love or hate that factor. But this will actually be available in her shop and there is a discount code, which I always have linked down below for her planner, Kate. I love this. There's all kinds of different stickers on here and all of her different colors. And I'm really excited to use this. And when it comes out, I'm probably gonna buy like 10 of them. So be excited for that. And whenever she does have this in her shop, I will definitely link it on here in my social media. So thank you, Kate. Then we'll get into the actual box itself. Like I said, all of the products in this little package, um, it's themed and it will never be uh, up for sale. So all of these items are extremely limited edition. What you get is what is made. I didn't make any extras. I made a couple for me, but then 
that is it. They will never be sold in my shop or ever again, as far as I plan. So let's open it up. First thing that came in this box is just some little uh, teardrops. I did put the uh, bigger ones and the smaller ones because I feel like they're equally loved and I just thought that they were super duper cute. I didn't do this theme to any specific color. I did it themed to floral. So you're gonna see floral throughout this and I pulled the different colors from the floral so that you can get a full theme from it. And pretty much every box will have some sort of theme. It won't be ever themed to that month in the Erin Condren planner, but it will be have some sort of theme. Also, this would work for plum planners, except for there will be a few stickers that are Erin Condren specific, which I will say when they are. Then also there are some flags in here which do match the colors of the teardrops. So I thought that those were super cute. Then there are these to-do little headers. These are Erin Condren specific, but you could easily trim to fit the plum planner or you can just use them in the notes section. And I thought that these were just super cute and I really liked the way they turned out. Then also I threw in my classic mini sampler and I just did them in the same colors as the floral. And I thought that this one turned out really cute. This is probably one of my favorites from the whole entire box. Then I did a half sheet of checklists in the colors. These are adorable for anybody who likes like muted colors or almost pastel colors. I really liked those. And then I did these flags. I was just gonna do solid flags, but then I was like, I should do something patterned because I've actually never done a patterned flag before. Um, I did do them a little differently than I did these shorter flags. The shorter flags just has this pattern that I made, but these ones I just thought I'd do something a little different. They kind of remind me, not of Target flags, but kind of like the same feel where they have uh, the pattern on there, which I think is really neat. And I really like the way they turned out. Also in here are just some boxes that are just the same pattern that's throughout and I thought that these would be good for, you know, using all of these together and kind of making it all, you know, flow. And then the last two things in here, the first one is just a bunch of die cut flowers. So you can, they're all the flowers that are in here, but I just use these flowers to make this pattern. Really love this. I'm really excited to do a whole week with this little kit because I really love the colors in this. They really spoke to me. And I really, I do like pastels, but I like the more muted color, colors rather than pastel. And I also threw a sheet of washi, which is just my matte stickers. And they are cut to fit the width of the Erin Condren. And I did do a bunch of the pattern and then I did colors, well, my favorite colors from the pattern. So that was everything in the box. I'll just kind of flip through and show you everything again in here. Um, like I said, the th only ones that are made to fit the Erin Condren, actually, when you look at it, there might be a lot. Um, I'll do a different pile. So this one could fit really in any planner. These are the same width as the Erin Condren, but could be easily trimmed to fit the Plum Planner, these are again, uh, fit the Erin Condren boxes. These can be used in any planner. Any planner. This one's kind of like up in the air because you can, uh, this is Erin Condren size, the heart checklists are, and that's it. So that I would put more towards any planner. These are Erin Condren sized, Erin Condren size, and any planner. So, I mean, it's, it's majorly based for an Erin Condren planner, but if you had another planner, you could definitely use them. Um, you know, trade the ones that don't fit and keep the ones that do. I like the kit. I'm really excited about it. And like I said, this will not be available for purchase, which I feel like is a double-edged sword because I feel like it's gonna stink for people who can't get a hold of them, but it's gonna make it special for the people that do. So if you're interested in getting this, I would definitely follow my Facebook and Instagram because whenever I post it, I will post, um, I will be posting when I'll be releasing them so you kind of have a heads up and then I will remind you sometime as to when they're gonna go out. Then I, when I post them, I'm gonna post 100 to 150 depending on how many that we can do. But I'm really excited with the way that it turned out and I hope that you guys like it. If you guys have any suggestions or comments, definitely let, know, let me know down below. I do hope that in a few months I'll be able to get way more kits out, like unlimited almost. But for now, because we are extremely busy, it is very hard to keep up with the demand of you guys because you guys are super duper awesome. But I hope that you guys like this video and that you guys had some answers for your questions about this month's kit. Definitely let me know if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that down below and I will definitely respond to those. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.